Today we're going to talk about the difference between true wind and apparent wind and how to use that information to sail better. A good example of the difference between true wind and apparent wind can be seen when we make the turn to drop the mainsail. But while I'm rolling up the jib, why don't I give you a few definitions. Apparent wind is the actual wind that we feel on a moving boat. And true wind is the wind that we would feel if we could stop the boat dead in the water. In this satellite view, you can see my intended path. I'm going to sail down the channel and then make a turn hopefully straight into the wind and be able to have plenty of sea room in order to drop the mainsail. Using a little wind vane, I try to determine the wind direction. My goal is to try to avoid this little finger of land over here. This is the apparent wind direction and it looks like we have plenty of room if we turn into the wind to drop the sail. But look what happens. As we make the turn you can see we've made the mistake of using apparent wind instead of true wind and we end up pointing at that bit of land we were trying to avoid. If there was no wind at all and we only had the motion of the boat, the wind would appear to be directly in front of us. On the other hand, if we were sitting motionless, we would feel the true wind coming from this direction. Apparent wind is the combination of both true wind and the wind caused by the boat motion. If you add those two together, you get a wind direction that is in between. It comes in just like this. The key principle here is that if you're not motoring straight into the wind or sailing directly downwind, the true wind will always be further aft, further towards the back of the boat than the apparent wind. As it turns out, I did have enough sea room to drop the sail without any problem. The last item I would like to cover is how to calculate what the actual true wind is if you're out sailing. It only takes about 30 seconds, and even if you never do it, it's good to know how to do it. This is a variation on a method developed by Nathaniel Bowditch, one of the most famous navigators in American history. This is maneuvering paper, and I'm going to double the scale. So when I see a four, I'm gonna make that an eight, and a two would be a four, just for convenience. The first thing I'm going to plot is the apparent wind, and we have it at 300 degrees and 8 knots. So I draw a line from the origin, which is where the boat is, on an angle of 300 degrees, and I take it out 4 units, which I've doubled to make for 8 knots. Now I'm resetting the calipers to 2, which represents 4 knots, and then I'm going to draw a line for the motion of the boat, which is at 28 degrees. So it is the length of the lines that determines how fast the wind or the boat is going. And the direction, of course, is which way the boat is going or which way the wind is coming from. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the line that represents the motion of the boat and we're going to take it and put it on the end of the apparent wind line. The tool I'm using is called a parallel plotter. It allows me to draw lines at the same angle anywhere on the sheet of paper. So I can line it up with the motion of the boat line and then slide it to the end of the apparent wind line and then I can draw my line from there. Now I remember that true wind is always aft of apparent wind so I know which way to draw the line. Now I can draw the true wind line and then I can measure it and I will see that we have a true wind speed of nine knots and the wind angle is 272. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you wish. It all helps. Thank you again.